Congress and Bill O'Reilly in the Miller Time segment tonight. Let's get right to the sage of Southern California. He joins us from Santa Barbara. So you heard about Hillary Clinton explaining that she and her husband were broke when they left the White House. They had to work very hard to buy their houses, and now they're multimillionaires. And you say? Well, it was a simple mistake. Hillary mistook ethically bereft for dead broke. So, yeah, it happens. It happens. They've got busy days. At this point, Hillary Clinton wouldn't know broke or the truth if it walked up to her on the street and illegally donated to her campaign. I haven't believed her since she told me she was named after Edmund Hillary and he summited in 53 and she was born in 47. They, have any, they don't have any idea, Billy. They're constantly in BS mode. BS has become their real. They come out of the amniotic sac, they spend eight seconds in the real world, and they get into the political bubble where they have eight morons surrounding them every day in a rugby scrum telling them they're God's gift. They don't have a clue anymore. The only thing about Hillary is she's always cranky. You read these stories this morning how cranky she is with the Secret Service. She's PO'd because she knows that we know she's been cheated on more frequently than a blind woman playing Scrabble with gypsies. All that being said, <laughs> she should the biggest loser in Loserville should probably be the president, so no doubt she's got that coming down the pike. Now, you don't resent her money, though, and you, you and I have, have oh, done very well God's working sakes. hard. I believe Mrs. Clinton works hard, despite the gypsy comment, um, and, and so does her husband. They run around, they, they do a lot of stuff, and they're rewarded for it. But then she can't run on income inequality, as I said last night. Uh, Billy, uh, her, you know, her, her wallet's full and she's more full of it. Let's put it that way. Right. The, you, you know, these people like uh, Warren, they always talk about the one, per, you know, the one percent have to be brought down. They're the pinnacle of the one percent. All right. Now, there's a Brookings study out, Miller, that shows Fox News, the most trusted television media agency in the country. There it is. Yeah. 25% of the population trusts us the most. Broadcast News, which is ABC, NBC, and CBS, 23, CNN, 17, PBS, 12, uh, John Stewart, 8, and MSNBC, only 5%, Miller, trust MSNBC. Well, what do you expect? Those ratings for MSNBC are easily understandable when you remember that MSNBC is simply an acronym for man's stupidity necessitates bad consequences. If you're going to have Ed Schultz be your Pliny the Elder and Al Sharpton your Demosthenes, eventually you're going to catch a hard one-hop shot in the cup off Willie McCovey's <laughs> bat. And that's what's happening right now over there. Phil Griffin has been the Dr. Moreau on the island of Dr. Moreau for six years and guess what the nuts have gone so nutty they're gonna start feeding on him eventually what is the law the law says if the ratings think you go and that's what's gonna happen over there eventually you know Melissa Harris Perry what are you kidding me what a waste of a hyphen that is get your house in order over there for well, God's sake. obviously it's not nuts. working they've been on the air longer than we have here at Fox and uh, only 5% trust them okay Billy, five you know bread and circuses works but you can't make it five-day-old hoagie buns and flea circuses. You got to get something together over there, some legitimacy. I got to look at the rerun to figure out the hoagie buns thing, but uh, let's just move ahead to Portland, Oregon, where right. um, thousands of bicyclists uh, rode naked to, um, to promote bike riding as an alternative to driving cars, Miller. Um, you weren't there, were you? Were you in this thing? No, but let me tell you this. That's one race you definitely want to be in the lead in, okay? <laughs> you don't want to be because behind. <laughs> between Schwinn and Schwing lies the abyss, my friend. Listen, these people who ride bikes naked to open up a dialogue with me about body form. Here, let's dialogue right now. Cover up your fat ass, all right? I'm driving to work. I don't need to see your fat ass. There, have we dialogued? Put some clothing on your I think I think we've got it, Miller. I, th I think the uh, the posterior of the human anatomy is not what you want to see while driving. I think we understand Don't that. Don't get now. soft on me about the word, <laughs> Billy. Those aren't posteriors. Those are. <laughs> Ass is a small donkey, Miller, and you can watch him on uh, Epics. June thirteenth. You're kidding me. Those are bicycles. <laughs> I made a mistake. I didn't mean that. All right, get out. Get Miller off. All right, before we uh, get the plug pulled on us.